So my name is Mike Bander and I grew up at Our Lady of Sorrows Parish in South St. Louis City. At the time, Sorrows was the largest uh, parish school in the diocese. I had 107 kids in my uh, eighth grade class. This is uh, Steve Bischoff. I uh, came from Ascension Parish, which is on the north side of town, somewhere near the airport in uh, Normandy, Missouri. So my name is Steve Bruschetto. Uh, I'm from uh, South St. Louis. Uh, I, uh, the parish I went to was Epiphany of Our Lord. And we had um, five kids from our grade school go to the U High. And those were uh, Joe Castellano, Pat Bannister, Kevin Cleary, Bill Schmidt, and myself. Joe Castellano, uh, proudly from Epiphany of Our Lord Parish in South St. Louis. Uh, we were in a, the uh, distinguished class with the late Pat Bannister and Kevin Cleary, my dear friends, uh, along with Steve Bruschetto, Bill Schmidt, and Kevin Dushinsky started with us. He didn't, he didn't finish with us, but that was the, uh, the fellows from Epiphany. Uh, my name is Jim Dacey. I went to St. Gabriel's. It's down, uh, down South City. Uh, God, I hope I don't forget anybody. Uh, Tom Gettleman, who's now lives across the street from me, is also from Gabriel's. Dave Mahanovich. I guess Tim Fleming was, he came in after, uh, after he uh, got out of grade school. Um, you know, and I can't, Wayne, I hate to say this, but my memory isn't all that wonderful. Okay, my name is Fred Dawes. I came from St. Raphael's. And the only other U High guy that joined me from St. Raphael's was John Iceland. That's funny because I've been counting those guys up. Um, Tim Everly, uh, St. Rock's Parish in the Stinker to Bolivar area. Yeah, I was thinking across the street from me was Bill Watkins. Um, Alfie McMahon, um, um, Tom Hutchison, um, uh, Joe Neal, Mike Burke, Pete Malachek. I should get eight. I don't know if I lost count there. Did I say McElroy? Okay, John McElroy. Uh, I grew up in University City, went to Christ the King Parish, and from that school was myself, George Danes, and Rod McCurry, and I don't think anybody else. That was it. Paris is easy. It was St. Genevieve, uh, which was in Warson Woods, which is kind of Kirkwood, Warson Woods uh, area. The, uh, uh, the, the, the others in my class would have been Tom Moore and, uh, and let's see, Jim Shortle, uh, Mark Digman, trying to think of who else was in that. I don't want to leave anybody out. I'm Dan Finney. I came from St. Mary Magdalene Parish in Brentwood, which is out in the middle of the suburbs. Oh, um, and part of my problem with this interview is going to be my memory, but <clears throat> I, uh, my name's Tom Gettleman. I do know that. And uh, I went to St. Gabriel which is in uh, South City, near Francis Park. And several people from my grade school came to class. Jim Fisher, Jeff Childress, uh, Bill Chrisman, Jim Dacey, Dave Mahanovich, Tim Fleming, Greg Hannibal. Actually, Tim Fleming uh, <clears throat> immigrated from Assumption uh, at some point. Uh, he wasn't the, in our grade school. Mark Travers. I'm sure I'm leaving somebody out. Uh, St. Anthony of Padua Parish was, was where I was from. And I, I guess it was considered South St. Louis, although South St. Louis went much further south. Uh, but yeah, it was the end of the line, uh, the grand, uh, grand bus line, yeah. Yeah, this is Larry Hummel, and uh, I came to St. Louis U High. Uh, from St. Catherine Library Parish, which is in South County. For those of you that are not familiar, near Tessad Ferry at 270 Road. And uh, I was one of three. It was myself, Ed Burns, and Mike Thume. 
came from Annunciation. It's in Webster Groves. It's kind of Highway 44 in Elm. Uh, the guys that I came with from there were Don Martini, Joe Cordum, Frank Kelly, John Shaw, and Mark Moshner stayed with us for a year and then he left. So that was the group that came down from the parish I was from. My name is Joe Cordum and I'm from Webster. I was in the Annunciation Parish. And let's see, there was John Shaw, Mark Moshner, uh, Tim Kellett, Don Martini were all out of Annunciation. And for some of the time we all rode together going to school in the morning. So we were pretty close. And surprisingly, everybody who applied to SLU from Annunciation got in. My name is Steve Langhars. I came to SLU from St. Joan of Arc, along with Dennis Code, Chris Lambert, and Paul Shum, who passed away in 2008. So um, I'm Handy Lindsay, and I grew up in St. Bridget's slash St. Leo's Parish uh, on the north side of St. Louis, which was... Uh, uh, at that time, pretty poor part of the city. It was a mix of black and white. The one thing that blacks and whites had in common was, you know, they were all poor. So, so I'm Tom Loving Goof, uh, class of 71. I came from Corpus Christi Elementary School in Jennings, Missouri. I grew up, well, was born in North St. Louis, baptized at St. Engelbert's, moved to the edge of the city and Jennings border and attended Corpus Christi through eighth grade. And then at the end of eighth grade, well, actually in like March, we moved from the Jennings area out to Spanish Lake. Mm -hmm. So when I started St. Louis U High, um, one, I was the only one from my grade school class that went there. Three other guys applied, but they got sent to DeSmet. And so I started the high school on my own, although I had an older brother who was a senior at that time. I'm Pete Malachek. Um, I grew up in the St. Rock Parish, east of uh, Skinker, west end of the city. Um, came from a class with numerous St. Louis U High alumni, uh, eight or nine of us, and Mike Burke, John McElroy, Tim Eberly, Tom Hutchinson, Bill Watkins, the infamous Joe Neal, Pete Bettenville, Alphonse McMahon. And what was great about that class in St. Rocks is that um, we all hitchhiked to school and we'd walk up to Skinker. We all meet there more or less, hitchhike with the same guys every day. And, and our badge of honor was book bags and book bags, are kind of corny now, but backpacks hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> so we'd all hitchhike. And then at the big standard at Clayton Road, half of us would go west to CBC and half was go east to St. Louis U High. And that, that was a preponderance of our, of our grade school class. And, you know, then there's another four or five guys that would go to, uh, if you remember these names, McBride, Augustinian, and in our neighborhood, it was Mercy High School. But I'm going to say 80% of my class went to either CBC or St. Louis High. High. Um, I'm John McElroy. Um, I grew up in the West End. Initially, the parish was St. Rose of Lima, uh, which in the West End, but about eighth grade, I, or actually seventh grade, I moved to St. Rock's. Uh, which was a big feeder school for St. Louis U High. Um, St. Rock's is near Washington University in Forest Park. Uh, that's an area that was kind of our playground. But people like Pete Malachek, Joe Neal, Tommy Hutchinson, Mike Burke, uh, and the, the names go on, Tim Everly, all matriculated to SLU. Uh, that was nice having those friends, but, but also, you know, meeting a lot of other people from all over the city. It was broadening and, and just, it was, it was rich. Um, I came from St. Gabriel Parish down in South St. Louis, St. Gabriel the Archangel, of course, to be exact, down in South St. Louis. 
And I think there are about nine other guys that, from that school that went there. But every morning, Tom Gelman's dad would pick up, he would take Tom, of course, pick me up, pick up Jim Dacey and Tim Fleming and would take us to, uh, to school because he worked at Falstaff like a lot of fathers did, which was right next door. So for four years, that's how we got to school. My name is Ed Miles. Uh, I went to grade school at St. Paul the Apostle uh, in Pine Lawn. I'm Milford, class of 71, state football champs in 1970, the one and only. Still proud of that fact today, as you can see by the hat. St. Michael, the Archangel in Shrewsbury, which Kalachi used to say was the land of opportunity because there's nowhere but up from Shrewsbury. So, oh, there was more than that. There was six of us who went to St. Louis High from St. Michael's. Milford, Bob Lloyd, Phil Schaefer, Bill Caputo, Tom Allhoff, Pete Brandt. Wow. Joe Morrow. I came from Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish in the deep south side of St. Louis. We had six, actually. Uh, people like Bill Ziegler were, was IHM, Rick Boydus, uh, Keith Beal, uh, John Cruz, uh, a guy that I don't think anyone's heard from since high school, Bill Betker. I don't know if you remember Bill. Uh, and I'm, I'm probably forgetting somebody, but we, we were one, one of the first groups out of Immaculate Heart to go to the U High. This is Joe Neal. I uh, grew up in St. Rock Parish in the west end of the city of St. Louis. Not the fashionable central west end, but the west end. Uh, one, one, one and a half blocks east of University City. Tim O'Sullivan came from St. Anne's in Normandy. I'm Kevin O'Toole. I came from St. Gregory's Parish in uh, St. Anne. Well, uh, I'm Errol Patterson, and um, the part of town that I grew up in in St. Louis changed over time. When I first got to St. Louis, I was living with my grandmother, and she lived on Page and uh, tell me what the nearest cross street was. But that was St. Anne's Parish, as I recall. And, uh, and that was Paige and Vandeventer, maybe, uh, uh, years go by. And later, uh, when my parents uh, moved to St. Louis. We lived down in Westminster uh, and uh, Skinker uh, out near uh, Wash U. Uh, um, I'm Steve Pelletier. Uh, my parish was Our Lady of Lords. Um, I came from uh, the, I guess you'd say the extreme uh, western part of St. Louis itself. I was in St. Louis. The house next door was in Clayton. Um, so I lived in one of those streets right off of Skanker Boulevard, right near the park. Um, and uh, let me see, others, uh, I know one for sure, uh, my, uh, my good friend Rob Labarge, who's no longer with us. Um, and... Uh, there were probably some others from my eighth grade class. I'm sure there were, but honestly, I can't, uh, I, I can't recall any offhand. Hello, everybody. Tim Rogers. I am a proud son of Northwoods and the real Ascension Parish, where we had nine members of the class of 71, including Zagragan and Zamalia, which I think the nuns told us that, you know, they always forget those kids with the names in the middle, but this way, Ascension was sure to be at the end of the roll call. Okay, so I'm John B. Schweitzer. Um, the parish I was in was St. Stephen Proto-Martyr. Um, but I came, the first four or five years, I went to their grade school. And then I went to something that can't possibly exist anymore called Bush Elementary and then Booter Elementary, which was actually, believe it or not, an, a, a public grade school program that was an accelerated program. It was a program for, uh, uh, he said modestly, a, uh, uh, a bright kids, okay? And so I went to that and they taught, they taught a little more math and they taught French. So I got, I got the benefit of that. And, um, and from, and from uh, my parish, David Weiss came and um, 
John Sumi's parents eventually wound up living in that parish, but I, I'm not sure that they had moved there by the time John Sumi was going to school there. You'll have to ask him. There was some uh, movement at that point. So I went to Seven Holy Founders uh, Grade School, which is down in South County, located close to Grant's Farm. And uh, some of the other Seven Holy Founders guys that went to SLU with me were Bob Tebow, Tom Bangert, uh, Steve Saliga, Bill Astroff, and Dan O'Reilly. My name is Mark Travers. I attended St. Gabriel's Grade School, Tom Gettleman, uh, Fred Dawes, and uh, maybe one or two others. John Troy, uh, St. Anne's Normandy, uh, a North Sider. And uh, there were three of us from St. Anne's, Denny Darty and Tim O'Sullivan and me. Yeah, so uh, Jim Twombly, the parish was uh, St. Dismas up in Florissant, so North Side. And, uh, but that wasn't the school, I, the grade school I went to was Mount Providence, which was a small uh, boys, both day and boarding school uh, in Normandy. And uh, so the only person that I knew, well, I won't say the only, I knew one person, Terry Barber, who uh, actually I rode to and from school with him because his dad worked at Falstaff. And uh, then I also knew a sophomore, uh, Steve DeMitt, who had gone to the same grade school. So, you know, I entered this school with like 800 guys after ha having a graduating class of 18 guys who had been taught by nuns all the way through. So it was, it was quite a dramatic change, you know, from, from what I was coming from. And again, walking in, luckily Terry was in the same homeroom with me, 109. Uh, but that's the only soul I knew freshman year, you know, on the, that first day of classes. I'm Bob Walsh. I grew up in Saints John and James uh, Parish on uh, the north side, uh, located in the now infamous Ferguson, Missouri. My name is Bill Watkins, and I grew up in St. Rock's Parish, which is at uh, uh, Waterman and Rosedale in the uh, west end of the city. I'm Tom Weber, and I went to school at Holy Redeemer in Webster Groves. Yeah, so hello there from Ann Arbor, Michigan. This is Joe Weisbrod, and I grew up in St. Matthias Parish, which is in South County. And every day for about three years, I went to school or drove to school, I should say, with um, Tom Dunham, who's from our class, and Joe Durkis and Keith Sweats, who were from classes immediately ahead of us. This is Bill Ziegler, and uh, most people call me Zig, so that, that's what I usually go by. When I hear Bill, most of the time I don't turn around. So, uh, but uh, I went to Macro Heart of Mary in uh, South City, uh, which is where I grew up. And uh, for any of you that don't know where that is, it's around Crownlet Park. Tony Zamila, uh, Ascension Parish uh, in Normandy area. The locality was North Woods. Uh, there were uh, nine classmates from the high school, the grade school uh, that went to St. Louis U High. Hi, my name is Wayne Hereford. I grew up in uh, Holy Rosary Parish, which was in North St. Louis, Natural Bridge and Newstead. And uh, Bobby Miles was also in my parish. 